Hi, my name is Christoph, and I'm the CEO and founder of Velisto. Before I begin my pitch, I would like to ask a question to every one of you in the audience. Who usually turns down your heating whenever you leave your office? Anyone turning down your heating in your office? One, two, three. Uh, and does any of your employees or colleagues does that? Do they turn down the heating? Anyone? That's also maybe two of them. That's the usual answer I get to the question whenever I pitch. Um, and the reason is that we are all free riders. We use energy, and we can also influence how much energy is being used by, for example, turning the heating up and down. But the cost is borne by the company. So we all we don't have any incentive of changing our behavior because, on the one hand, we don't save personally, and on the other one, in the morning the office would be cold whenever I turn it down in the evening. And that leads to offices that are not used for up to 80 percent of the time, but they're usually continuously heated. And to solve that problem, you need a fully automated heating technology, which, on the one hand, the user, we all, we don't have to change our behavior. And on the other side, the company doesn't have any effort in implementing those energy savings. And therefore, we developed Ovis. Ovis is a fully self-learning radiator thermostat, meaning that you don't have to program anything, you don't need to use an app, it just works by itself, plug and play. And the reason why it can do that is because we rely on two key technologies. The first one is an integrated presence detection. So inside the thermostat hardware, we've put a few sensors to detect the occupancy of the people in the room and estimate the chances of someone's actually using the room. The data is then handed over to the second key technology, which is artificial intelligence. So the AI uses this data to learn the behavioral patterns of every single room in the building and also learns the heating and building characteristics to have an optimal heating control. What comes out is a room, or every single room, which is preheated in the morning before the people come, because that's what the system has learned. And whenever no one uses the room, it just turns down automatically. The user doesn't have to do anything, the company neither. <coughs> to demonstrate what kind of savings you can achieve with our technology, we've done various pilots, and one of them was with our cooperation partner, Rhein Energy, a utility in Cologne, where we saved 28.6% of heating energy. And that was despite a nocturnal setback of 10 hours. So the heating was off for 10 hours at night, and we had only 14 hours to heat and save. To now, now we have a product which saves energy and pays back itself quite fast. But what's valuable is that we can collect various data to offer digital facility services, ranging from the first thing is a dashboard visualizing insights into the building the building manager didn't have before in old buildings. For example, temperature curves, humidity curves, what is the heating actually doing, failure detection, etc. Um, and it goes further to an efficient air quality management. Indoor air quality in terms of temperature and humidity, but also noise pollution, VOC pollution. And further going into an efficient workplace management, ranging from an efficient cleaning management, you can imagine whenever a room was not used, it doesn't have to be cleaned. And efficient space management, so how effectively are you actually using your single rooms in your building, in your real estate, and if you know that, you can save on operational costs. To address the customers we are targeting, we're partnering up with energy service companies, utilities, and facility services, because they already have the customer base to the, uh, to the customers we are targeting, and whenever there's uh, any utility or energy service provider here, we've heard some on stage already, um, don't hesitate to talk to me in the lunch break. The current customers we are addressing and having are from ranging from small and medium-sized enterprises to large corporations all over Germany, uh, up to real estate funds. And also the aforementioned facility services and utilities are our customers at the moment of time. So every one of you sitting here in the room using an office which is heated by radiators, don't hesitate to get to me because we've just noticed everyone has the same problem, we're all free riders, so you're all potential customers and you can save with Villisto. And then you can join me on the journey of changing the way we heat offices today. Thanks. <laughs>